Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? Welcome on into another Marble Contest of Champions video. Quick little screen grab here. I'm going to be talking about Battlegrounds off seasons and Battlegrounds season 20 and 21 buffs, nodes, etc., etc. Basically, guys, Battlegrounds are forever. Just like diamonds are forever, Battlegrounds will now be forever. So basically, we'll get the full seasons of Battlegrounds for a whole month, and then we get that one week break, except we don't get a week break. Battlegrounds will continue. We'll be able to do friendlies and, I guess, live matches too, but it, we, the rewards won't count, or we won't get, like, you know, the reward structure we have for Glider, Circuit, Victory Track, etc., etc. So here goes the overview for you guys. We have a few new things coming out again for Battlegrounds this season. Firstly, we're introducing a season-long Gladiator Circuit meta. That's pretty cool. The goal is to give more value to players investing in champions for a season. Instead of ranking a champion for two weeks of Battlegrounds, yeah, I, I, I understand that. They will be able to get a full season out of their rank up materials. As we assess its performance, this will be the structure for the next few seasons. I don't know if they're going to put us all in the Glarus circuit. How's that going to work? I have no idea, but we'll see. Secondly, we're introducing a week-long off-season that begins when a season ends, so you can keep playing Battlegrounds anytime. There will be no competitive aspect during off-seasons, and rewards will be lessened, however. You will be able to pr practice against the following season's buffs, which is great because we'll be able to gauge what the next season's buffs will be so we can decide what champions to rank up, what champions work for that whole week off. And then when Gladiator Circuit, or when the uh, Battleground season comes back on, we'll know what worked, what didn't work, what champions to rank up, what future rank ups we should do. This is really cool, an awesome change. This is, this is perfect. Thank you, Kabam. Season 20 dates. So regular season will start Wednesday, July 24th this, um, of next week. It will end Wednesday, August 21st. And as it, uh, the day it ends, the off season will start that day, August 21st, and it will end on August 28th, one week later. Off seasons will be a normal part of Battlegrounds moving forward. They will last for one week at the end of the season. The Battlegrounds Fight Landing banner will show it's in the off season when it's active. As you guys can see here, the banner says Battlegrounds, off season, challenge other summoners in a solo competitive mode. With the addition of any of an with an, with the addition of an off season, we will no longer have any battlegrounds downtime for those of you who love to play the mode. Me, me, me. I was just talking about it to my brother today, saying, "Man, I already want to play battlegrounds uh, like a day after it ended, and this is just so good." The buff meta during the off season will be that of the upcoming season. We will now provide the details for two seasons buff metas. E.g., the Season 20 off-season will have the buff meta of Season 21. This info will be outlined below. You will see a slightly different screen and info when tapping on play during the off-season. Five energy will be the cost to play. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All good things. There will be no victory track or gladiator circuit during the off-season. Players will only be able to gain rewards via Battlegrounds objectives, so I'm guessing the objectives will run consecutively through that whole week, too. That's pretty neat. We'll get the dailies. Um, that's pretty cool. Buff metas. So here's the uh, buff metas for Season 20 Victory Track and Gladiator Circuit. Season 20 Victory Track. Clarity and House of Mirrors. Hey, guys. Huh? War meta. But it'll be a little bit better than that because we have Enhanced Soldier, which we get a 100% chance to activate a True Strike when we intercept the opponent's dash. So Clarity, you guys know what that is if you play War. If the attacker has the uh, active Clarity tag, each hit in the combo meter, and each buff gained other than that from Dexterity Mastery, grants Clarity Charge. Reaching 10 charges consumes them, grants the Clarity passive for 10 seconds, max stacks 5. Each Scythe passive reduces opponent's crit resistance by 30% and prevents activation of Auto Block and Evade. The Scythe passives are paused during the Defender's special attacks and are not affected by ability accuracy. And then House of Mirrors, if the Defender has the House of Mirrors tag, every 20 seconds they switch between a 5% chance to either Auto Block or Evade incoming Light and Medium attacks. These Auto Blocks have a 10% chance to count as Well Time Block, and these Evades have a 10% chance to Evade incoming Heavy attacks. When this uh, mode switches, or when the Defender Auto Blocks or Evades for any reason, they gain 5% Crit Resistance, passive for 10 seconds, max stack 7. Uh, for each of these passives, a chance for this is auto block or evade trigger against light medium attacks increased by 5% flat. This note cannot be, be affected by ability accuracy. And then we have dazed and confused. Well timed blocks from the attacker start a 5 second timer. If the attacker well timed blocks again well, this within this window, they will be inflicted with 100% uh, 
falter D, I don't know why it's coded K glossary slash falter flaw falter K debuff for five seconds. And then the Dauntless with the Spirit Timer. And then Season 20 Glider Circuit buff, we will have Rust and Ruin. Um, when the Defender is struck, 40% chance to inflict an armor break on the attacker on us, reducing their armor rating by 25% over 10 seconds. If the attacker has 5 or more of these armor breaks, they are consumed and turned into a, an indefinite armor break debuff. Scrap Wars. Whenever the attacker is inflicted with an armor break... The defender gains an armor up buff, increasing their armor by 20% for 10 seconds. Whenever the defender is inflicted with an armor break, the attacker gains an armor up buff, increasing their armor. So that's pretty cool. That There's going to be some interesting things going on with that one. And then extend the defender's buffs and debuffs inflicted last 150% longer. So yeah, if you guys get an armor break on you, they're going to be hard to just get off of you. Since they're going to last so much longer, that you're not, they're not just going to expire over time. Uh, there was a time on them. Yeah, 10 seconds. So, 150% longer. So, yeah, they're, they're going to last a good amount of time. But I like how we can play around the armor up buff, armor break, armor break them to, for us to get armor up. That's pretty cool. And then Divine Barrier. Uh, while fighting a Mystic Attacker every 10 seconds on a timer, the defender becomes immune to Nullify, Fate Seal, and Stagger effects for 8 seconds. The timer's duration is paused for 2 seconds each time the attacker nullifies a buff. Okay. And then Season 20 Off-Season and Season 21 Victory Track. So we have Eat Crow. Science attackers gain immunity to nullify whenever a nullify or a poison fails to apply to the attacker due to immunity. They gain a Fury Pass of increasing attack rating by 80% for 6 seconds. That sounds fun. And that's basically the science um, nodes for the science quest for event quest, I think. Sometimes. Power Snack 2. When the attacker triggers a buff... It is immediately nullified and the defender gains 50% of a bar power, so half a bar power. Ability has a 7 second cooldown, so you can dex twice and they're only going to gain 50% of a bar power. They're not going to just keep gaining that, so that's cool. Treat 5 placebo, doesn't sound bad. Attacker gains a 6 second placebo buff every 10 seconds. Whenever defender is inflicted with a non damage and debuff except for stun, reset this timer. Very straightforward. And Season 21 Gladiator Circuit, high energy diet. The defender has 99% energy resistance, and any hit that deals energy um, damage regenerates them for what the damage would have been. While the defender is affected by an incinerate, shock, or a cold snap debuff, the defender gains 100% of a bar of power every 10 seconds. Ooh, man, that's going to cut out a lot of chance. Because that's 100% of a bar of power every 10 seconds. That's, that's tricky, man. Reinvig reinvigorate on blockable 3. Each time a regen buff for passive is activated, if the defender is not under a heal block effect, they gain a dormant vigor charge. Once a defender reaches 10 of these charges, they are consumed and the defender gains a passive unblockable for 10 seconds. Vital Strikes 1. When the defender strikes the attacker's block, the defender regenerates 250% damage dealt. Wow. Indomitable. The defender's healing abilities can't be reversed when this would trigger. They are instead only prevented from healing. Damn. Season 21 is going to be crazy. Wow. I'm wondering... Entire month of Gladiator Circuit. Okay. That's pretty neat. That's what they're going to do. They're going to give us a victory track. We make it through there. If you make it through in, week, in, in the first week... There is going to be no change after two weeks. We're going to get an entire month for Gladiator... You know what? I really like that... Unless the mud, the meta is just, eh. I know a lot of people look forward to that second week meta coming. I don't know how this is going to play out. I, I don't. Um, man, I, I don't know. Like, if we don't like one of these metas, is, are people really going to want to play that meta for a month? Like, imagine if we had that meta that we just had. What was the meta we just had? It was, um... What was the meta we just had? It was the, uh... Oh, yeah, the, uh, the, the Arc Chaos, right? Yeah, random buffs and debuffs applied to both champions after every special no, attack. Like the magic for a whole month instead of the last two weeks. Yeah, but man, I don't know. I don't know. As long as they make these nodes fun, interactive, and skillful, I guess we'll have a good time with it. And then, guys, and then here's the, the, the emote at the bottom here. Uh, rewards a new emote. Vibranium 1 will now have the following spider hand emote for summoners to obtain. That that's too funny. The spider ham with the hammer on his head with the stars, that's great, man. Uh, I'm excited to get that. But uh, yeah, guys, wanted to get this video out to you. Wanted to get it under 10 minutes. Hit all the freaking buttons, all the freaking buttons, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.